back to Mary class. Today we shall learn about geographic term. What is geographic term? It is a condition affecting mostly the dorsal and the lateral surfaces of the tongue. What is the dominant characteristic? It is a migrating pathology consisting of serpentinous white lines and smooth red islands. Let's see what are the clinical features. It is a common benign condition appearing mostly on the dorsal and the lateral surfaces of the tongue. Lesions rarely appear on the ventral surface of the tongue, buccal mucosa, labial mucosa and the soft palate. The condition is characterized occasionally by white serpentinous borders and also has smooth red islands. These are the smooth red islands. The deep appellated area appear as the outline or the borders of a continent on a map. These are the lesions. These lesions heal and then they reoccur in few weeks at other locations. Geographic tongue is also called as erythema migrans or wandering rash as it keeps on changing patterns and locations. It is also called as psoriasiform mucositis. The red patches are caused by the atrophy of the filiform papillae and small isolated patches can also fuse and coalesce together to form a larger patch. Let's see what is the etiology. The etiology of this pathology is unknown. However, this condition can be associated with psychological stress, Reiter syndrome, atopy, and psoriasis. 1-2% to of the population is affected by this condition and females are slightly more affected than men. What are the symptoms? This condition is usually asymptomatic. However, a few patients might complain of burning sensation after consumption of hot and spicy foods. Let's move on to the histopathological features. On the topmost layer, there are Monroe's abscesses. Then there's also infiltration of neutrophils, lymphocytes, and the human leukocyte antigen, that is HLA-CW6. Also, a kenthosis of the layer is seen. Let's see this in detail. Monroe's abscesses are present in the keratin or the spinous layer. This is a collection of neutrophils. There is increase in human leukocyte antigens known as HLA-CW6. Retiridges are thin and considerably elongated. Chronic inflammatory cells are present in variable numbers within the stroma. White margins show hyperkeratosis, spongiosis and acanthosis. Red islands show infiltration of neutrophils and lymphocytes. Psoriasis and geographic tongue generally have similar histopathological features. Now what is the treatment of this condition? As we know that the condition is asymptomatic, the treatment is usually not required. However, if a patient has burning sensation or if the lesions are symptomatic, they can be treated with topical steroids or topical or systemic antifungals if candidiasis is suspected. So what all we learned today? Geographic tongue is a condition affecting mostly the dorsal and the lateral surfaces of the tongue. It has serpentinous white lines and smooth red islands. Geographic tongue is called as erythema migrans or wandering rash as it keeps on changing patterns and location. Etiology is unknown. Histopathological features consist of Monroe's abscesses, reti ridges, increased human leukocyte antigens, hyperkeratosis, acanthosis, and spongiosis. And treatment is usually not required. You can find the link to Google form which has MCQs related to this topic. You can attempt those MCQs and find out how much you learnt about this topic. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you do, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates regarding new videos. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.